What would happen in the first few seconds, minutes, or days after a supervolcanic eruption? How quickly would the land change if you were far enough away to witness the eruption, but not close enough to instantly be affected by it? Yet. Imagine you are many kilometers away from the border of a supervolcanic caldera. The supervolcano is about to engage in the most climactic event during its one to two week long volcanic eruption. The caldera is about to collapse. How dramatic would this be? And what would happen after it? How long do you have left? And how exactly are you and everything around you going to meet your end? What fate will you succumb to and how bad will it be? Well, I'm happy to say I'm going to answer these burning questions for you, pun intended. Today, we're going to roughly simulate the first few seconds and minutes after a supervolcanic eruption caldera collapse. I'll briefly cover what would happen during the time between when the supervolcano first started erupting up to the caldera collapse. Contrary to popular belief, it most likely wouldn't start off as one major caldera forming bank. But I was thinking I might make a spin-off to this episode if it does well. So if you enjoy it, please hit the like button to let me know so I can make another few episodes in this kind of format and cover the days, weeks and months after these events. We can also take a look at other elements that could occur during these eruptions, such as what would happen if a supervolcano erupted in a shallow ocean and how tall a potential tsunami wave could be. I just wanted to quickly announce an update to our Patreon and YouTube membership. I've just added the $1 Club. This is a great and cheap way to show your support for this channel for only a buck a month. So if you've ever considered supporting our channel, join today to gain exclusive perks and access to our members only Discord channel where the whole community can gather to nerd out on the topics that we cover on this channel. The super volcano we are going to simulate in this video will be something similar to the last Toba eruption, meaning it's going to be big, real big. For the past few months, the ground has been shaking more than it normally does. Earthquakes are a relatively common occurrence in this fake part of the world that I'm constructing purely for this demonstration. The landscape is dotted with volcanic features, and a major caldera already exists that you have absolutely no idea about because it's too large in size to recognise. Within the caldera is a lake, and recently you've noticed that the shorelines have been changing. The land looks to be swelling, rising, and this is changing the dynamics of the land that you hunt, fish, and forage in, which is the only indication to you that something weird is going on aside from the tremors, but you're still not really sure what it is. After a long day of trying to hunt, you come back empty-handed. The tremors have shaken the wildlife into a frenzy, anxiety is heightened, and you notice the absence of wildlife near the lake. There will be no rest tonight. After a restless sleep, you rise at dawn. Suddenly, an explosion rings out and a shockwave blows through the area, violently thrusting the large trees around you in the direction that the shockwave is travelling. After this, a black ash cloud slowly rises in the horizon, accompanied by several other large banks that propel the cloud higher. This is just the beginning. Supervolcanic eruptions most likely occur for a while before the caldera collapse happens, lasting days or even weeks. During this time, eruptions will intensify, massive pyroclastic flows will be released, and these will travel a notable distance. But you are too far away as of yet to be affected by this, and the ash cloud hasn't yet reached you, but is slowly progressing with each explosion that occurs. You notice giant boulders of semi-molten rocks being thrown out in all directions. Some of these are as large or larger than a van. The land near the eruption has become blackened with ash and volcanic material. After a while, the ash cloud finally reaches you, and ash begins to fall all around you. The massive clouds released by the supervolcano have been thrust high into the stratosphere by now. As the ash cloud progresses, the sun slowly loses its power, until it's eventually completely blocked out, plunging you into almost complete darkness. You decide to wait out the event, praying that it will end soon, but the explosions continue to ring out day and night. The ash cloud only intensifies, 
After days of Plinian style explosions, the magma chamber has emptied out a large amount of its magma reserves. It's still got an unbelievable amount in there, but enough has been released that the ground above this gigantic batholithic sized magma chamber becomes increasingly unstable. This chamber is 6 to 10 kilometers deep inside of the Earth, and eventually the ground above it reaches a maximal point of instability, and the caldera collapse begins. This is the climax of the event, and you will not survive this. It begins with the collapse of the Earth above into the magma chamber. Like a vacuum, everything gets sucked in as the Earth drops by several kilometers, filling up a large part of the magma chamber. But much like a landslide that falls into a shallow body of water, when this happens, the vast amount of magma that's still inside of the magma chamber gets squeezed out, creating the largest and most deadly pyroclastic flows in the event as a rapid release of an extremely large amount of material occurs all at once at unprecedented levels. A pyroclastic flow is a superheated cloud of death that can travel up to 700 kilometers per hour and it hugs the ground as it moves, literally sterilizing everything in its path before burying it beneath layers of volcanic material, which eventually cools and solidifies, turning into a rock known as ignimbrite. This is what happened in Pompeii, and that's what buried the citizens of the town. It fatally scorched them all in an instant when it descended, and then buried them beneath layers of ignimbrite when the material cooled down. The temperatures of these clouds can reach upwards of 700 degrees Celsius. So just before this caldera collapse occurs, for some reason, you decide to go to the top of the mountain to see what is going on. Even though in reality you wouldn't be able to see anything due to the blackened state of things, with the sun being blocked and the ash obstructing your vision, but for the purposes of this, somehow you can clearly see right to the caldera from where you are. Just as you reach the peak, you witness the ground around the eruption begin to drop in on itself. Then as quickly as it went in, it then exploded outwards at a scale larger than anything thus far during this entire eruption. Material is blown everywhere. A massive shockwave echoes out, and when it finally reaches you, it blows you several meters back into the air. A bang so loud occurs that it instantly deafens you by bursting your eardrums. You can no longer hear. As you stand up after being violently thrown down by the shockwave, you see the massive black clouds of pyroclastic material traveling outwards in a 360 degree direction, moving at a pace so rapid that running is hopeless. You stare at it for a few moments before black. That was the fate of you and every animal in at least a 20,000 square kilometer. And that's what would happen in the first few seconds and minutes after a caldera collapse. These pyroclastic flows would end everything. And then the earth would be plunged into a volcanic winter, killing off phytoplankton and affecting the entire ocean ecosystem worldwide. Whilst on land, Plants would die off en masse, and herbivores would begin to die, which would kill off the carnivores that prey on them. Nearby waters would be poisoned. The land will not be the same here ever again, and the full recovery of life would take many decades to hundreds of years. And this is the end of the supervolcanic eruption. For a few days afterwards, a few bangs here and there will happen. Some material will still be released. But in general, this was the climax of this event. Thanks for watching.